Hello everyone, today I will be painting the left side of the face. I must admit that I'm not a fast painter. Throughout my life I have struggled to find ways to paint faster and I'm still researching new technique to improve my speed. Even though speed is not a natural part of my personality, I'm determined to find a solution and I will never give up. When I show students how to draw or paint at school, many of them are surprised at how quickly I can work. I always tell them that I used to be slow when I was an intermediate student, but now I'm working a bit quicker than before because I have more experience in this huge topic. Even though I have tried everything, I'm still not content with my current situation. Therefore, I'm constantly self-reflecting and searching for new techniques that can help improve my method of painting. Being fast can be easy, but true difficulty lies in maintaining both consistency in brushstrokes and colors and precision simultaneously. This side of the portrait is very thin, as there isn't a nice big shadow going towards the light, so I have to fit all the transitions into a small area. This squeezing reminds me an uh, instrument, a musical accordion, which narrows from the outside to inside. Also, as I have already mentioned, I'm not very good at blending technique. I'm always learning. In fact, if we do an honest analysis, you will soon realize what the weak points of your painting technique are. And instead of ignoring them, face them and turn them into your strong points. Become experts through practicing something you were convinced would be impossible to learn. From technical standpoint, let's talk a bit about artistic thoughts that can cause technical issues. It's normal to question what you have done. Being overly critical can make you feel really bad. It's also important to think about how your work compares to others. For example, if I have drawn a picture that isn't perfect, I shouldn't keep scolding myself for it. People see art differently. What seems bad to me may seem good to someone else. So, if I mess up a drawing at the start because I didn't get the sizes right, it's okay to start over. I always do it. But remember, if you are not beginner, and if you are an advanced student, Art can be good without me judging it. I have seen lots of young artists who draw life model being really hard to themselves for no reason. That's not right. It's important to know what you did wrong without thinking everything you do is wrong from the start. If you keep questioning everything all the time, it just makes you feel bad for no reason. Sometimes we act without really thinking about it because there is this strong feeling inside pushing us on. It's like that feeling tells us everything we have done is rubbish and we have got to scrap it and begin again. I'm not a psychologist, 
but I often catch myself doing things without knowing why or feeling like I'm not really in control. I'm not saying this is bad, but if we pay more attention when making choices, this urge, which can really mess things up, won't have as much power over us. What you have just seen is a short clip from one of six lessons of my Patreon page. To unlock the full content, simply subscribe. I cover a range of topics there, so if you are keen, join me for more.